God, there's nothing better than talking to friends about hot penny stocks. Well, actually, there are a few things I can think of. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot. And this is the last Monday of April. It's the 29th. Now, what I like to do on this show is just to share some of my own personal due diligence on a hot penny stock. I trade penny stocks every day from bell to bell. These are stocks under five bucks that you can find everywhere, anywhere. They're on every single market. And I am constantly keeping my eye open for stocks that have heat, that have potential to make us money. And I got a hot one for us. This is WorkSport, ticker WKSP. Now, I found this one by looking at the charts, which is where I do most of my research. In a very little amount of time, I can look at a lot of charts. And at a quick glance, I can tell if there's heat in the chart. When I see heat in the chart, then I'll go rummaging around through the press releases and the filings to see if there's any catalyst. Well, this one's looking juicy to me right now. First off, her chart is set up for a breakout. It's what I call the atypical breakout. That's when you got that 200-day SMA coming down fast and furious and the price is deep underneath it. When that 200 starts to level off, the price turns and starts to cut up. As it's cutting through, you've got your breakout. And that's what we're looking at right now. Plus, she's way, way undervalued, as the company points out in their most recent news press. And their business and revenues are picking up very quickly right now. Real good time to be looking at work sport. So WorkSport finished today at 59 cents and just a little over 20% gains. Now this is a hot penny stock on the major exchange, which comes with benefits compared to the OTC. First off, there's no transaction fees on the major exchange, penny stock or not. You get to trade pre-market, after-market. You never get to do that with OTC stocks. And there's a lot more volume and a lot more money up on the major exchanges. And there's a lot more rules and oversight. So you're not going to have to put up with as much BS as you do with the stocks down on the OTC. So what is this company about? Well, we've got a pretty decent description here, but I'm going to jump on over to the one in their news press. So they tell us over here that WorkSport, through its subsidiaries, designs, develops, and manufactures and owns the intellectual property on a variety of TONU covers, solar integrations, and NP, which stands for non-parasitic as well as hydrogen-based true green energy solutions for the sustainable clean energy and automotive industries. Now, I had to actually look up this non-parasitic. I didn't know what the heck that was. It is a tricky way of saying that the refueling stations are self-contained. Whether they be hydrogen or electric, they do not connect to the grid. They supply their own energy, and they give you what you need without having to take it from anywhere else. WorkSport has an active partnership with Hyundai for the Solus solar cover. Additionally, WorkSport's hard folding cover is designed and manufactured in-house and is compatible with Ram, Chevrolet, and GMC models from General Motors, as well as Ford, Jeep, Nissan, and Toyota pickup trucks. And the more I read, the more it sounds like there's not a pickup truck out there that they don't cover. And these are all custom fits. It's not one size fits all. WorkSport seeks to capitalize on the growing shift of consumer mindsets toward clean energy integrations with its proprietary solar solutions, mobile energy storage systems, their NP, as well as their new heat pump, which we're going to take a look at right now. Actually, I think we'll start by looking at the Tonu covers first. We're over here at the company's website, WorkSport.com. And as you saw in the pictures, they've got a variety of these Tonu covers. Basically, they've got three styles. The soft one made out of some sort of vinyl, a real hard plastic one, and then one made out of solar panels. Now, contrary to what you may be thinking, the solar panel Tonu cover at this point of the game is not meant to extend the battery life of an electric vehicle. Down the road, absolutely. But at this point in time, it's about portable power. These pickup trucks are used by all sorts of construction companies, campers, fishermen, and they are out there in the boonies. They're going to have power wherever they go, and they're going to be able to plug into it. And to do that, they've got the core. This is the unit that houses all of your energy. 
the battery actually slides into this and then you pull it out and you put it into one of the holders. And while you are pulling out your battery, whatever you're plugged into is still working even though you've pulled the battery out. They've got some sort of reserve built into this. They tell us that the core portable energy storage system can be recharged using any wall outlet or portable solar panels, making it a reliable companion for anyone, anywhere, at any time. But as I said earlier, the company is doing a lot more than just tow new covers. As I was reading the news, I discovered they had another subsidiary, Teravis. I believe I'm saying that right, Teravis Energy. They tell us that they are involved in hydrogen energy, energy heat pump, solar energy, and grid connected chargers. Now I want to focus in a little bit on this energy heat pump because this is something they're doing a lot of talking about right now because it's a new product that is innovative. Heat pumps have been around for a while but they kind of disappeared. When I was a kid, we had heat for the home using heat pumps, geothermal heat pumps. They would put a rod down into the earth where it's 56 degrees all year round. So when it was 30 degrees below zero, the difference between 30 degrees below zero and 56 degrees, all of that difference could be used to heat the house. And when it was 100 degrees outside, it was still 56 degrees in the ground. And the difference between the two could be used to cool the house. And that's exactly what they've got here. It is a heat pump air conditioner unit that attaches to the house just like anything else. The Travis Energy Cold Climate Heat Pump makes low efficiency and reduced heating capacity a problem of the past. Our CCHP acts as a compact three-in-one system operating as a standard heat pump and air conditioner unit or a two-stage CCHP depending on the climate. It can operate at temperatures of minus 30 degrees Celsius or better. But they're doing a lot of other things as well. I was telling you that they had these NPs, these non-parasitics, these self-contained charging units. Well, this is their concept right here. I don't believe these are actually out there yet, but I may be wrong about that. This one is called the NPEV DC Fast Charger. You can charge your car up in 30 minutes and get 80% charge. And the way this works is that they are filling tanks here in the center here filled with hydrogen. That hydrogen is chemically broken down into oxygen, water, and electricity. Then they've got a hybrid concept here looking towards the future. This doesn't just give us electricity, it also refuels hydrogen. So depending on which type of vehicle you're driving at that point in time, you can come to this one filling station and get either one. They are also involved with nano grids and micro grids. A nano grid is when you create that power supply at home for yourself. So when you're off the grid because the grid went down, you've still got power. The micro grid is how your nano grid attaches to the major grid. So everybody can be attached, even though they have their own power supplies, they're all hooked in to the microgrid, which is hooked in to the major supply. Then they also give us some information down here that they are getting involved with creating hydrogen fuel cells, because this is the future, folks. Right now, all of our electric vehicles are running on lithium batteries, and we gotta get all that lithium from the earth, and we're having a hard time getting as much as we need. Hydrogen isn't a problem. We can get hydrogen from all sorts of places and it is clean and we don't have to rape the earth to get it. So I'm believing down the road in the future, lithium batteries are just going to become obstinate. We're just not going to use them anymore. Hydrogen will be what we're using. So now that you've got an idea of what the company's involved with, let's go take a look at that stock. So the relative volume for the company tripled today, going from just a little over 3,000 shares a day for the last 30 days to just under 1 million shares. Share structure for WKSP is looking pretty good. Outstanding share count isn't even 25 million. I don't know what our float is, but it won't be any lower than a million. That's the absolute lowest you can be on the NASDAQ. And it won't be any higher than 24. That's as high as it can go, the outstanding share count. So really, it doesn't matter to me where the float is here. Anywhere between one and 24 million is good to me. That's a nice float. Market cap, our market cap is currently about 12 million. Taking a look at our financials, 
Wow, we had an explosion there, didn't we? Over the last three years, not counting 2023, she was down there doing $300,000 and $100,000 worth of business. We know those are hundred thousands because we've got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on any of these charts. Well, look at 2023. She jumped from 100,000 to 1.5 million. That's 15 times her normal volume, folks. 1,500% increase. Quarterlies. Wow. Wow, look at her go, folks. All right, we were down here at 39, 31,000 a year ago for those two quarters. Then she jumps up to 200,000, which is 600% increase. Then she jumps from 200 to 458, more than doubling. Then again, from 458 to 839, almost doubling. So she is on a fast track on her revenues increasing. Taking a look at that balance sheet. We've got money in the bank, about 3.3 million. Total assets for the company right now is about 26 million. Total liabilities, ooh, nice, 7.7. .7. So we have positive stockholder equity of just over 18 million in this company. Jumping on into those disclosures. We do have two 8Ks here that came out recently. One of them we have to look at. They have just been contacted by the NASDAQ that they are not in compliance with the minimum bid price requirement of $1. A stock on the major exchange cannot go under a dollar and stay under a dollar for too long. If they do, they'll get a warning. They'll be told they have six months to get that price back up over a dollar. Their six months ends October 16th. So how do they fix it? Well, they're actually relying on us, the investors. We've got to bid that price and close over a dollar for 10 consecutive days, and then the company's out of hot water. If we don't do that, what happens? Well, normally one of two things. Either the company goes down to the OTC, EGADS, or they have to do a reverse split, EGADS. <laughs> Either way, we're not happy with it. Now, they do have a third option sitting on the table. They could qualify for another six months from the NASDAQ, but that's an if and a maybe. So, we've got a lot of news to consider with this company. We've got news going all the way back to the beginning of the year, and you'll be happy to know we're not going to dive into every single piece of news. But there are two pieces we need to dive into because there's a lot of bullets of information. But I want to headline these so you can see the advancements that they're making with the business right now. Back in January, the company's subsidiary, Taravis Energy, starts to build the heat pump supply chain. This is something they're really focused on right now. Also in February, the company reports 2,000% increase in Q4 2023's year-over-year -year revenue following a 2,400% year-over-year Q3 revenue advance. Boom, boom, boom. They just keep growing, folks. The company completes production of their first 1,100 hard folding covers compatible with Ford, General Motors, Stellantis, Nissan, and Toyota trucks. The company announces Solus Solar Cover availability for the Ford F-150 Lightning pioneering sustainable off-grid energy solutions for EV pickup trucks. The company announces a new distribution partnership with Dick's Performance North to expand presence across Canada. Now, they've been working in Canada for a while. They're now working strong and hard in America with their Made in America marketing, and that seems to be doing real well for them. They tell us in March, the company advanced power electronics with Galem nitride semiconductors. They're working on that core. They're going to have that out this summer, hopefully. To launch innovative Solus core system this summer, providing options for partnerships with Tesla, GM, and Ford. Folks, this is huge. This is a first mover advantage. No other company has got anything like this. And these pickup trucks are everywhere. We sell a lot of them here in America. So there's a lot of companies that are interested in this. And if they could make a deal with Tesla, GM, Ford, or Chrysler, wow. WorkSport announces receipt of solar panels required to begin production of the highly anticipated Solus Solar Tonu cover. Yes, they got those at the end of March, so I'm sure they're working hard and fast on getting these out right now. And then the most recent piece of news that came out um, 
four days ago. Work sports signals undervalued status. Eyes major 2024 growth. So we've got two pieces of news I want to jump into, and these are all ready for us here. This is the one that came out February 6th, talking about the big increases in their revenue. The bullets, 2,050% year over year, Q4 revenue advance follows a 2,400% rise in Q3 revenues. 83% increase from Q3 2023 to Q4 2023 revenue demonstrates current sales momentum. As we could see, it is steadily growing. Large outgoing orders and ongoing sales for light truck covers. Second production line planned to create made in U.S. products at West Seneca New York manufacturing facility. These large revenue increases were due to initial outgoing orders for the company's FC3 trifold aluminum light truck covers. During Q4 2023, the company completed and launched a second production line in its state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in West Seneca, New York. Subsequent to the fourth quarter's end, WorkSport announced a strategic partnership with Neuronic Works to manufacture and assemble the alpha release of the core battery system. They are hard at it, folks. And then that other piece of news, this is the most recent one that came out on the 25th about this company being undervalued. The undervalued stock potential with over 150 registered and pending patents and trademarks, a state-of-the-art facility valued at over $9.2 million, exceeding our current market cap. Well, the market cap's up to $12 million. However, when you add in the advanced manufacturing equipment valued at more than $7 million, now we're at $16 million just in the facility and the equipment, and their market cap isn't even $12 million. It is our belief that WorkSport stock is significantly undervalued. Year-end sales for 2024 are expected to significantly increase from the previous year, primarily driven by WorkSport's U.S.-made hardcovers. With the highly anticipated market introduction of the Solus Solar Cover and the core portable energy storage system in the months ahead, it is expected to exponentially boost growth and potential and substantially enhance shareholder returns. And that I believe, folks. When this comes out, this is going to be the big difference in this stock. First to market solar truck bed cover. Finalized after extensive engineering and prototyping, the patented Solus cover is set for its market debut this summer. As a pioneer in the solar technology space, capturing even 5% of the U.S. market translates to a significant revenue potential exceeding $300 million annually. That's if they get just 5%, $300 million, and we just hit $1.5 million. Core Solid State Power Generator Launch. Complementing the Solus cover, the patent-pending core battery system is nearing the end of its prototyping phase. These are both to come out at the same time. Groundbreaking heat pump technology. Additionally, WorkSport's subsidiary, Travis Energy, is on the brink of completing an innovative residential heat pump that surpasses existing technology. <laughs> technological standards by up to 40%. With this global heat pump market projected to grow at 8.5%, reaching $142 billion by 2030, this development has garnered significant interest from conglomerate companies and governments worldwide. We are still looking for green ways to heat our homes, folks. We haven't got that down pat yet. And this company's on the brink of bringing something on market for that. So they've got lots of innovative products that are just about ready to hit the market. Don't you think now would be a good time to look at this company before she breaks out? Speaking about a breakout, let's go take a look at that chart. Let's see what's popping for WKSP. We're going to check out WorkSport on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. So I've got this opened up to a six-month, four-hour view. And as you can see, she's been in a serious downtrend the entire six months. Now, six months ago, when she was still above the 200, she was at roughly $3.30. Once she broke that 200, 
that was her downtrend begun, and it lasted a long time. Hitting a low bubble here, April 22nd of 31 cents. Off of that low bubble, she bounced, stopping her downtrend. Now she was in a sideways trend for three days. In the last three days, she started her uptrend. Floating on this nine-day SMA, crossing SMAs, pushing towards the 200. She is tugging on all the rest of these SMAs, and all of them now are pushing up, climbing with the price towards that 200. The volume has gotten very strong these last three days, and all of our oscillators are pushing to the moon or on fire. Our four-hour chart looks pretty good. Looking at our 20-day, one-hour view. So we had a tag here on the 200, then she went back to her downtrend, hitting this low bubble, bouncing up to the 200 haul, floated on that until she got on top of the 50, and then she launched right across that 200-day SMA, breaking out, floating on that 9-day SMA. And she has been tugging all of these SMAs right along with her. The 20 has crossed the 200. Here comes the 50 in the 200 haul. These are going to give support and power to the price as she climbs. Our oscillators, they started to cool off, but I can see a recovery on every single one of them. Our PPO, percentage price oscillator, which is a lot like your MACD. MACD uses a full price. The percentage price oscillator, right, uses a percentage of the price. And you read them the same. Both of them are now starting to climb back up. We have a spread on our PPO and our ADX. ADX is trend continuation. In short, a straight line means whatever trend is on the board is continuing. Well, when you have the PPO blue line going up and the red ADX going down, getting further apart, guaranteed 100% your stock is climbing. And our RSI is also climbing. She fell down to 60 and she is pushed up to 63 right now. Let's take a look at our five day, five minute. That's not looking bad. She was going sideways after hitting the slow. She got up onto that 200 day SMA and just meangled with it for about three days. Then she pushed off of it, got onto this 50 day SMA and started to climb. Had one final push off the 20 and launched herself from roughly 42 cents up to 70 cents. So you're looking at a little over 50% run right there. Came back down through the 50, bounced up over the 50, and right now she is arguing with that 50-day SMA, trying to get on top of it. But we've got a strong 200-day SMA climbing right now. Osculators, looks like we're in recovery. We've got an imminent crossover on our PPO, getting back on top of the pink. Same thing with the MACD. She is coming up, ready to cross over, and our RSI is climbing right now, though it's cool. She's down at 51. Now, I'm not saying this is going to run tomorrow or the next day. I think she's going to grow. I think this is going to be catching attention, and we're going to see some slow growth, and then we're going to have some press releases come out about any of those catalysts that we talked about, and boom, this thing's going to start to run, and it's going to take off. I think this is going to be a hot stock, folks. I really do. With this first mover advantage with their solar 2 no covers and being able to carry power wherever you go, pickup trucks are hot, and power, portable power, is hot. I think it's a great mix. It needs some more due diligence from you, folks. You know I didn't cover everything. And you know what else I always say? The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.